Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You. Welcome back to my kitchen. I have an amazing apple cream pie for you. This recipe comes from my sister-in-law, who I didn't ask if I could do it, but it is her grandmother. So Michelle, sorry, but I'm doing it anyway. It is filled with delicious creaminess. It is absolutely spectacular, it has an amazing crumb top. So check this recipe out. This apple cream pie is to die for, guys. We're gonna start with one cup of sour cream. To that, we're gonna add one egg, three quarters cup of sugar, half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of flour. I'm sprinkling that on the top so it's easier to mix all together. And a half teaspoon of vanilla. I wondered if I should put cinnamon in this, but then decided not to. And we're gonna stir this all together. I'm glad I didn't put the cinnamon in. Get this nice and creamy. And we're gonna add three cups of apples. The original recipe said two, so I started with that. But as soon as I stirred it, I realized, nope, I want three cups. I want that extra bit of apple in here. Okay, I admit I did not make my pie crust this time. I just used Pillsbury, the rolled up kind in the fridge or freezer section at your grocery store. So we can make this look slightly homemade just by pinching the edges a little bit where we have some rippling. And, but who cares? If you buy one of those pie shells that already are in the tin, you can do the same kind of to the top to make it look a little less preformed from a factory. We are gonna bake it at 400, preheated 400 oven for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna pull it out and do one other thing to it and put it back in. While our pie is in the oven, we have one more step to do and that's making our crumb topping. So uh, Dutch apple pie has a crumb topping and this is where our cinnamon comes in because it was really hard not putting cinnamon in with those apples, but I was trying to stay true to the recipe. I had already added too many apples, so I didn't put the cinnamon in. But if you'd like to try that, you can. So we are gonna start now to make this streusel. In our dish, we're going to put a third cup flour, and a third cup sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to take a quarter cup of butter and just kinda slice it up in there. If you have one of those um, pastry cutters that cuts it in, you could do that. And when you get this done, if it's not timed right with your pie, just put this in the fridge so the butter does not get room temperature. So I'm using my cutter and I'm just cutting it in. So here's kind of the texture that you want. You don't need to have all the pieces of butter and itty bitty pieces. And then mine is not timed right, so I'll put this in the fridge and let it sit in there until my pie is done with its first 30 minute bake. Our pie is looking beautiful. It's set. There isn't any real jiggle. We've got the egg in there that has set the cream, so that's perfect. Now we're gonna crumble our top. And to me, this crust is perfect. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I don't want it to get any browner. And this, this is plenty of crumble, but again, if you're one of those crumble freaks, you may wanna add more. Oh, it's spectacular. Get it on the edges. You want your edges to have some deliciousness. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow! Okay, so we have some tin foil to also put around. I just like fused a few pieces of tin foil together. And we changed our oven temperature, ow, changed our oven temperature to 325. And we're going to cook this for 20 minutes at 325. It is going to be spectacular. We're gonna let this cool for at least an hour and then we will check it out and take a bite. OMG, just gonna take a little piece. This looks a 
amazing. Do you see that? Oh, so creamy and yummy looking. Let's try it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's the best apple pie I have ever had. It is so tasty, so creamy. Um, now I'm glad I did not put the cinnamon in the cream. It just has such great creamy flavor that it does not need the cinnamon. The vanilla is enough, and the cinnamon on top. Oh, that is so good. Mm. No one will even know that I used a pie crust from the store bought, right? Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and make this pie.